Yeah. Wow, guys. Honestly, this stuff is getting crazy. Uh, Brian Phobos just left yesterday. Before that, we went out to visit American Homestead. We uh, found an eastern hognose snake on the way there. We got there, we found a decay snake or a brown snake. We uh, get back around here. My wife catches a copperhead. I go for a look uh, for a deer with my son. We find a rough green snake. Brian Phobos comes down. We take a drive, we miss a garter snake on the road. Then we get to a place where Cliff jump in. He sees a, a northern water snake, miss that. Take another drive, find a coach whip. Beautiful coach whip on the way, only my second one ever. Then we get to uh, the swimming hole and we catch a beautiful, with an orange, crazy orange belly, um, northern water snake. And the next day, you know, he leaves, so I get back to work, working on fencing, doing some other things. As soon as I get started, beautiful, big racer. I mean, he bit me right there. Ow! Yeah, still biting, you can see all that. Come on, buddy. There we go. Youch! But just a beautiful racer on our land. And Whoa! Did he just go for the camera? I don't know. Man, this guy's, I think he's going to bite me in the face. Ay! Yeah. You guys see that? This guy is super feisty. He's very warm. It's probably around noon right now. The sun's hot in the heat of the day. He might go for my face right here. It's right here. See that? Coach whips are known for that too, where they're gonna, they're gonna try to get you in the face. Uh, but yeah, eventually I hope he realizes I'm not a threat because, you know, getting bit in the face, it's good for clickbait, I guess, but it's not always the most fun. Yo. Fun. Yo. So this guy's a beautiful racer on our land. Um, they're definitely a cool snake. They're not as fast as a coach whip, but they do have the name uh, racer, so they are a very fast snake. They're a very alert snake. If I can get his head again. Let's see. Yeah. Wow, if I can get his head again. He's got some really nice eyes. They really got good sight. Sometimes they'll kind of lift their head up over the ground. Oh, there goes the bite. Yeah. They'll lift their head up over the ground and uh, get a better sight on things. Very cool. Um, this is, youch. Definitely one that I don't want around like my, uh, my young poultry or my, uh, yo, what's up guy? my quail, things like that, but it is a, a snake that's not bad to have around necessarily. They help control the rodent population, they'll also eat a lot of lizards, things like that. But man, he is so alert. Do you guys see that? So, just exciting. There's just been a ton of snakes lately, and you know, one of the questions that came up when Brian Phobos was here is he's like, man, do you just like go out and look for this stuff like just to try to make posts or make videos? And I'm like, it's just kind of life as it happens. You know, there's a reason we live out where we live. And uh, one of the reasons is just to be closer to kind of creation and all these different creatures rather than just in the concrete jungle around, you know, thugs and hoodlums and everyone else, but just the dense population with, uh, with a lot of things that aren't just natural is not exactly what I'm, what I'm looking for. I feel definitely much more at home out in the wild. And even if there are these type of uh, creatures all over the place. So this guy's beautiful, he's fast, exciting. Like I said, yeah, when I grab him, I mean, Ah, he just got me in the face. I don't know if you guys seen that. Ah, he just got me in the face. I don't know if you guys seen that. Whoa, buddy. See you bleeding. I'm bleeding from the head. I'm bleeding from the head. Whoa, guys. Okay, I'm gonna get a little better control of this head for a second. Okay, let's see. Boy says I'm bleeding up there somewhere. Yeah, he just tagged me there. So that's again, safe. Uh, a lot of people wonder about the glasses and they're like, man, does he just wear that to try to look cool? Part of it's, you know, safety. I mean, if this guy's gonna be trying to bite me in the face, you know, and I've got, I've got protective eyewear, that's gonna, that's gonna help. I mean, he's really trying there. You guys see, let's give him a little more room. Ah, he wants to bite my face. Anyway, oh, did you see that? Don't do this, guys, don't. Man, 
man, he's just on point. He's angry. We're gonna let him go. He's gonna have his fun going about his way. And I'll get back to work, but uh, just nice to pause for a minute and say, you know what? These guys are so cool. And I like their heads too, because they do kind of look like lizard-like almost. Um, got a really interesting head, different from some other snake varieties. But man, okay. He's obviously not chilling down much. Uh, some of the snakes we've caught recently, you know, even Brian Phobos was like, wow, it just chills out so quick. It almost acts like a pet immediately. This one, although some of these, this species will, this is not a member of the species, an individual that is actually going to do that. So, wow. Okay, whoa, almost again. So I did get the clickbait, right? Bit in the face by a snake. I wasn't even trying, but there it went, guys. I don't know. Racer snakes on the bright side, you know, they're not venomous, of course, they don't brush their teeth, so should I put some uh, witch hazel, hydrogen peroxide, rubbing alcohol, you know, something, he almost got me again on that. Well, yeah, I should, but, uh, you know, we'll get back to work here. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? He's smelling me like crazy. So, and that's one thing, too, like, if you're comfortable with the worst case scenario, the worst case scenario is I get bit in the face by this guy. That's about it. If I'm comfortable with that, then I don't really have much to fear because uh, whatever he can do to me, I'm okay with having happen. So we're gonna get rid of this guy. We're gonna let him go. And uh, yeah, beautiful snake on our own land. Just check out that coloration. There's so much variety in just different kinds of snakes and their body styles, their colors, their patterns, their eyes, their, you know, whether they're venomous or not. They're, whoo, you can see here, I mean, that's a pretty good sized snake. So I wish Brian Phobos was still here. He would like this one. We could, we could get him bit in the face or something, but uh, all right, guys, pop out. I think he's chilling down now. He could totally strike my face at this range, but he's not yet. Wow. Ow! 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 He's hitting, I think he's hitting the bone. Youch! Youch! This thing is bitey. Ow! 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 Yeah! He like chewed me up! Man! Plus the face! My beautiful face! What's wrong with these creatures? So, at this point, obviously, this guy's a little calmer. I mean, this is still a wild snake. It's still dangerous. But it's a little calmer. So, we're gonna go let him go. And he can enjoy cruising around our land. We'll just make sure he's, you know, a little farther away from our poultry and things like that. So, cool snake. A little bitey. But he's all right, young Grim, or no? Okay, well, why don't you get him by his head? Yo! Come by his head. And then support his body. There we go. See? So, with proper... Proper handling, too. You don't have a lot to worry about. At this point, Monster Truck has him by his neck. So he can't bite him because he's in control. And then you support the body, too. Well, hey, buddy, you switching the... Okay. And support the body, too, so you don't hurt the snake. Let's go, uh, let's go take him for, uh, for a let go. Ready? Ready to get back to work? All right, let's go, son. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steemit.com and join the revolution. Papa out.